start with that breaking news because tonight Florida lawmakers passed that controversial school safety bill to arm teachers. But will the governor sign it? Melanie Michael showing us what else is in this bill. Well, Keith, first of all, two big things to know about this bill. It raises the age to purchase a firearm and it paves the way, as you mentioned, to arm teachers. The nation watched and waited as the controversial school safety bill came to a vote. One lawmaker from Coral Springs made an emotional plea to his colleagues by speaking directly to a mother who lost her daughter in Parkland. I hope that when I push the green button, that, that will show all the appreciation that I need and that she needs. You don't need to stand with me. I don't need you to stand with me. I need you to stand with the families. Push the green button. Thank you. In the end, the bill passed 67 to 50 and now awaits Governor Scott's signature. The final version of the bill included several key points. It would raise the age to purchase a rifle from 18 to 21, require a three-day waiting period for firearm purchases, ban the sale or possession of bump stocks, and it would establish a voluntary program allowing school personnel to be armed if they undergo 144 hours. Of training. We want change. And, you know, this this is a good start, but obviously this, this is not what we want to accomplish. We want more. Okay, so here's how it stands tonight. The governor has 15 days to either veto or sign the bill into law. Now, earlier, Governor Scott said he would review this bill line by line, but would not say whether or not he would sign it. You can go to our WFLA website or our free News Channel 8 app to see how our Bay Area lawmakers have voted, guys. Thank you.